okay uh, today i'm going to tell you a, a story a narrate you a story a beautiful story actually it is going to be a story with a moral so here goes the story once there lived a deaf frog now this frog was really obsessed with climbing trees but because he was too young he thought he wouldn't do it but one day his bursting enthusiasm got the better of him and he decided to climb a tree anyway and he started doing it so uh, he went to the jungle to make his dream come true but when the other frog saw him going to the jungle they followed him too they were concerned he would try to climb a tree and injure himself therefore they would like to see this frog and maybe stop him by doing what he was intending to do however when they reached there he had already started climbing that tree and once they saw him climbing a pretty tall tree they started shouting and jumping in order to stop him this caught our frog's attention and he looked down to see all those other frogs jumping however because he was deaf he wasn't able to listen to their warnings he got excited and thought they were there to support him to cheer for him he then started climbing even faster each new branch that he reached the frog below panicked more and started to shout and jump even more than before but by now the frog was so sure of their support that he kept climbing and climbing from one branch to the other and so on so forth as the frog reached the top like a pro in his own behavior each new branch which he left below was looking like he has climbed my distance as he was trying to climb one branch over the other every time the frogs which were who were i mean the frogs who all were down and wanting this frog not to climb the the tree sh- were shouting continuously shouting they shouted you can't do it come back down why interpreted that you can keep going the frog interpreted otherwise and he thought that they want him to climb one more branch and maybe reach the top and thus this made him climb all the way up and once he was there at the top of the tree living his dream the frogs below were ashamed they were ashamed of their own negative beliefs and therefore were very silent now they were not making any kind of a shout they were not hooting at all they were not stopping they were just stand still and seeing this frog taking the top spot of the tree but they started shouting otherwise now the time came and they st- they started shouting otherwise and jumping again till now there were only shouts but now the shouts were accompanied with the jumps of the frogs and they were in much ecstasy to see that this fellow frog has reached the top topmost branch of the tree this was more in terms of appreciation towards the deaf frog that he had achieved now the moral of the story is have a deaf ear to the obstacles and negative comments rather use them as motivation to achieve your goals i think i'm i'm clear i'm finished with the moral but this is not enough do you really need to be deaf to turn deaf to others turn your ears deaf to others to maybe achieve something like this i don't know but one thing i'm sure is alas we can't have a deaf ear to to all the negative comments that we receive so abundantly from people all around us all the time many a time i mean even those who don't usually give advice would try to stop you from doing something you so eagerly wanted to do even when they themselves don't know anything about it but we can 
however avoid them or use them as a motivation to prove them wrong yes use their words to prove them wrong not yourself but in order to be able to go against such odds we first need to believe in ourselves isn't it in the story which i just mentioned a deaf frog really believed he could do it once he decided to climb a tree and that belief which he had in himself made the criticism and disbelief of the frogs below this made them appear as the support to keep on going this made the climbing frog believe that it is all the support which is coming from the fellow frog beneath and which made him to climb the topmost branch of the tree he believed so realistically in his ability to climb a tree that he assumed they must be cheering for him because he was certain that they do believe in him as well so your conviction your ability and your behavior is showing on them as well as you marched ahead climbing one branch after the other and climbing the taking the top spot and making it look like it was just an ordinary exercise that's the power of having a strong belief system it turns everything into a stepping stone to keep moving forward however there will always be people telling you otherwise they may be your parents your relatives your friends your peers your neighbors wherever you go there might be friends there might be circles who would always try and discourage you but remember that they don't feel the passion what you are feeling they may not feel it that enthusiasm because you only have it and you show it with your behavior that makes you able to see the end result so many a times when you are only able to see the result and not mind the process that you are going to go through will be difficult or not i think that is what the focus is that is what the vision is so they basically are unable to see what great things are in store for you once you start your journey through the tough paths and reach the destination then only they realize that whatever you did was meaningful it is then a foolish thing to take into account their negativity filled bling criticism and disbelief and at the end of the day it always be you missing out on chances and opportunities or going on to make your dreams come true for they will all cheer for you once you make it there at the top even the ones who thought you wouldn't do it they'll be there cheering for you like those frogs who were standing below trying to first of all stop him and then same set of frogs encouraged and clapped for the one frog which was deaf so that wraps up our anecdote for this particular story the deaf frog an inspirational story and the lessons you can get from it we hope uh, you have learned the impactful lesson it offers with that being said share it with your all friends siblings neighborhood and let them also believe in themselves it's a very simple thing what you need to just believe in is your value system the system that you have evolved with that the upbringing of yours clearly shows and if you are very clear in what you believe nobody stops you even if pe- even if people come across your way stopping it should look like not a criticism but an encouragement so one bright spot on this particular story is when you fully believe yourself then do it to your belief stick to your belief system and might as well achieve the highest highest point of your dreams your objective your goal sets